On her travels around the globe, Golfing World's Anna Whiteley is constantly picking up tips from the game's leading figures to help improve her golf and hopefully yours as well. Wow! Today, she's at Essendon Country Club, working on a long game with one of golf's biggest hitters. Distance off the tee is a huge advantage in anyone's game, so who better to give us a few tips than 2016 World Long Drive champion, Joe Miller. Thank you. Joe, you have been known to drive the ball over 500 yards. The distance that you get is incredible. The best way to go about it, I imagine, show you what I've got. You, yeah, you set off and then we'll have a look and then hopefully we can add a little bit to it from, uh, from a few tips, yeah. Okay, great. So, I like to think I haven't got too bad a distance. But, uh, uh, no, no I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's adequate. Adequate, <laughs> right. That wasn't too bad. So, that's, that's an acceptable woman's drive, I'd say. It's an acceptable drive for anyone, yeah, absolutely. That was a nice drive, actually, not bad. Uh, there was a few things, uh, if I just demonstrate a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so, actually, most of the time, one of the problems is a lot of the people tee the ball too low. Uh, you're actually fine with that. The ball was teed up nice and high. But second to that, your spine is very upright. Yeah. Okay, so coming from that position there, that's more of an iron type of swing where you see the iron coming down. Um, they hit down on the ball, quite spinny. Um, and it goes, it goes straight, it kind of looks kind of good, but it doesn't go very far. Okay. So with your tee height, which was perfect, I always tell the guy, tee the ball up. If you can get a mirror or, or a pro or someone, you know, filming it for you, uh, and look at the ball position. For a right-handed golfer, you want minimum on the, on the crease of the arm and the chest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one position there. So you get the ball nice and forward there. And again, what you had, you had this, this spine tilt which was very forward. It's gonna kind of give you that downwards angle of attack where what we wanna see is when you sit up to the position here, okay, we wanna see this spine angle slightly leaning back. They call this secondary axis tilt. So it's just basically a tilt of the spine back and that's gonna encourage that upwards hit Okay. And then what we can do with that is de-loft your driver a bit more and get the ball going a bit more forward. So we just have a little demonstrate here. So we set up to it, get that spine leaning back. Wow. There we go. I mean, the distance that you create with your drive, Joe, is yeah, That's on the green, by the way. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so let me have a little go. So have a look at that. There. Let's tee another one up for you. Right, so you've teed the ball up a little bit higher than I'm used to. So I mean that, that's I mean that's for me, but if you can learn to hit the ball off a higher tee, then you are, you know, you're halfway there as well. Because yep. again, it's all gonna help us launch the ball higher, less spin, which basically equals a lot more distance. So that's yep. what we're looking for here. So the ball's teed up high. If it's too high, that's you know, we can see it a little we'll bit lower, but it. we'll go with it for now. So we're teeing the ball up, and like I say, you can see your spine is very up and down. So if yep. I just move you that way a bit. Yeah. So now we have the spine going sort of down your left toe. Yeah. If we stay behind the ball and stay in that position, we get the ball higher, launching higher. Yeah, it feels like you're definitely going to be up. Yeah, exactly. We're going to be attacking the ball more this way as opposed to down this way. Right, okay. Right, move your hands, put your, push your hands, there you go. There we go. There we go. Right. Higher than yeah, it normally it is. But what, what we have there is even if it is a slightly higher, which is a good thing, the ball's going to have less spin on it. Okay? Yeah. Because we're attacking it from up, uh, from underneath. We can then, again, deal off your driver, which yeah. we can do, yeah. uh, and it's going to get more of a compressing hit and it's going to be less spinning, which is what, spin is the number one killer for distance. You're right, okay. Is it worth deal off We can deal off that driver now, yeah. yeah. Right, so we have taken that down okay. to 10.5 from 13.5, which was terrible, Rout. by the way. <laughs> So Things are getting serious. Now we've, lo we've lost three degrees, uh -huh. but now because we're hitting on the up, we've actually added loft, you know, we've yeah. added loft to the swing without changing the club. That makes sense. Um, so let's have a look at what happens now. So you've got the so normal setup there. You want to kind of tilt there it. There you go. So you a slight back. spine tilt and just imagine that there's something blocking your head coming forward. Yeah. Okay, so we're always behind the ball. Okay. Ooh, that there felt quite nice. That's better. Okay, so now the ball is flying better. Yeah. It has less spin. But so, still got quite a lot of height, which well, is what we want. Because we've added the angle of attack on the way up. So instead of hitting down and using the driver to try and loft the ball in the air, what yeah. we do with the body is we add slightly, you know, we add a bit of loft with the body, but we de loft the driver, hence the ball's going to go a lot further, hence, you know, less yeah. enough, more, more distance. So better flight, less spin, 
more actually increasing ball speed because we've de-lofted the driver as well and hopefully you know that ball's going to add a lot more distance. So you'd say it's definitely worth having a lesson, getting your coach to look at the loft of your club because I uh, wouldn't have even yeah. thought about that. No that's right a lot of people will go to uh, a PJ Pro with a bad swing and then they'll fit a custom fit driver because these are so adjustable now mm. they'll fit a driver to the swing whereas you know, now you have a swing where you can actually fit the driver you know, to, to a good swing and a powerful swing and you're going to get a lot more distance out of it. Okay, brilliant. Simple top tip, Joe. Thank you so much. No worries. Just going to talk about a few things that, you know, some of the problems that I see, um, you know, with amateur guys who are looking to increase distance a little bit more. Um, most of the time, you know, you see it and there's just basically a lack of a, a range of movement. Yeah. So for long drivers, what you see in long drivers, we generate a lot of force. Obviously, most of the guys are pretty strong. But coupled with that, you know, we have a massive range of movement. You see all the guys, me especially, you know, this club head travels a, a long, long way. Um, and that's, that's all that's doing is allowing the, the speed of the head to, tr you know, to catch up basically and to speed up at impact. What you tend to see with a lot of um, amateur golfers is they'll address the ball and they might have the, you know, a great setup and things like that, but they're almost scared to get it going past anything yeah. you know, it, it, to parallel or even past parallel, uh, which is a big mistake for distance, right? So, you know, if you are an amateur golfer, uh, at home who struggles a little, little bit with that and you know you've got the technique and you hit the ball pretty straight but you just can't seem to gain the distance then you know my first tip would be is to is to get practicing you know moving that club head to parallel and sort of beyond you know not necessarily on the golf course in the first hole but on the driving range you know work with a heavier club um, you know work if flexibility is a bit of an issue you yeah. know you can work on that outside of the golf course and, and in the gym. Uh, and what would you say to those people who just feel like they lose control as soon as they go beyond parallel? They will do. Uh, but basically what happens is, you know, it's something that they don't practice. So all of a sudden I tell you to go and swing it, you know, a foot longer than you normally would, you know, it's going to feel completely alien and terrible and you're going to get to the point here and everything's going to be out of position. So this, again, this is something that you practice on the range uh, or even at home in the garden, wherever it will be you know, get a weighted club, uh, get something, you know, you can strap to the, uh, the, the driver and make it a little bit heavier and just practice going past parallel, you know, lifting, getting to a point here where there's your normal swing. Yeah. Like we we want to get, you know, start seeing that shoulder turn even more, start seeing that head come round. Yeah. I'm not saying you have to be a long driver and start swinging <laughs> it all the way around here, but, you know, the more you can do that, the further you can get that range of motion going, um, you know, the more distance you're going to see out of it and the more you're going to feel comfortable while you do it as well. Okay, go on. So show, let's have a look. Show us how you do it, Joe. I mean, it's just so impressive. How much work does it take to feel confident with a swing like that? It takes hours and hours and hours. <laughs> yeah, and days and months. And it does take a long time, yeah, but people who play golf are in it for the long run, I think. Um, you know, and if they want the truth, the truth is the further this club will travel, the more speed you're going to generate. OK, it's going to be out of control at first. But, you know, the more we practice it, you know, the better it's going to feel. And hopefully the longer the drives are going to yeah. be. All right, then. Give us a go. You want to have a go? Yeah. Let's tee one up. Because, well, unless you swing in front of a mirror, you never really know how far. Exactly. You're coming back. So what we've seen is you swing to parallel. Yeah. OK and you feel comfortable with parallel, but yeah. again, you know, away from the first tee or the second tee, wherever it would be, work on getting the range of movement a bit longer, mm -hmm. okay, bigger shoulder turn, so you feel comfortable with it, and then you can unleash it on the golf course. So just for a practice swing. There we go, that was nice. I can feel my wrists crack. <laughs> they don't normally go back that far. <laughs> okay, ready? Wow. Perfect. Perfect. I actually connected pretty well to that. There you go. So what a lot of people, you know, they get to that point there where they feel safe and past yeah, it, they I mean, feel scared. I had no idea what was well, going to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But what you do, what, what you can be sure of is, again, the longer that will travel, okay, the faster and more time it's going to have to gain speed on the way down. Yeah. You're just going to get so much more yardage if you practice it. So again, make sure, make sure we emphasize that we have to practice that. <laughs> in a safe um, environment. In a safe place, <laughs> away from anyone, uh, but you will get more distance out of it. And that is really how you create, if not all of your distance. That's how you create uh, more clubbed speed, you know. Joe, thank you very much. Pleasure. World Long Drive Champion. <laughs>